unhappy bank employees and bank customers have been flooding Go Public with stories, like Nectaria Kyriakopoulos. She says BMO increased her credit card limit last year without her consent. I mean, basically, I don't trust them as it is too much. Um, it's hard to trust them after seeing incidents like this. Studies show when people are given credit, they use it. Next to mortgages, Canadians' highest personal debt comes from credit cards. And according to Canada's banking regulator, banks must obtain express consent from consumers in each instance of a proposed credit limit increase. Otherwise, it's illegal. In a statement, BMO says, we are taking this seriously and will address any concerns. Other bank customers tell Go Public similar stories. Signed up for credit card insurance without my consent. Overdraft was changed without my permission. Line of credit was raised from 10000 to 15000 without me knowing. Those customers could complain to the Financial Consumer Agency of Canada. Last night, its deputy commissioner told CBC News it will investigate financial institutions next month and could fine them. And if the investigation leads to a violation, they could be subject to a fine up to $500,000. And if it is a very serious allegation, then we could actually name the institution. But this consumer advocate says the bank watchdog is ineffective and shouldn't have announced an investigation next month. The banks, of course, will now clean up and cover up all the wrongdoing. And that's just uh, ridiculous. It, it, it would be like the police announcing in the morning that they're going to set up a tr speed trap on the highway and telling everyone where it was. You're not going to catch anybody that way. Conacher has been tracking the big banks for over two decades and the bank regulator. Since 2003, the FCAC has made 125 rulings, but only prosecuted twice. What's needed, he says, is an independent financial consumer organization, as recommended by a government task force almost 20 years ago. Consumers would direct it, run it and fund it, and it would be there dedicated to actually protecting consumers the way that the lapdog watchdog agencies are not. This investor advocate says Canada's banking regulators are too closely tied to industry. They really have a conflict of interest between protecting consumers and uh, fostering the markets and enabling the companies to make money. So these are diametrically opposed. What we need is we need an, a Canadian authority that would have the sole responsibility of protecting consumers. The Canadian Bankers Association says Canadians are well served by their banks and is confident strong policies, procedures and controls are functioning well. There is an ombudsman Canadians can complain to, but banks don't have to participate. And a few years ago, TD and RBC stopped. Erica Johnson, CBC News, Vancouver.